Hi guys, this is Philippe and uh, I'm back more or less. Uh, today I'm going to bring you a quick update on the game uh, that I released an update on, I think. Uh, I think it was some sometime last month. And um, basically I've been working on it for only about three weeks or so because that's when I got access to a PC. Um, as some of you may know, I went abroad and because uh, my dad was, wasn't too well and I had to go see him. But um, everything's good now and I'm back to working on this. So I've done quite a few things in the last three weeks. Um, so I'll show you some of them. Uh, so I put everything in classes, as you can see here. I've got a ton of classes now. Uh, obviously that's because I had about 3,000-ish lines. And uh, that goes up a bit more and you're going to have problems because every time you want to see something, it's going to take you ages and it it's better because everything's more organized. So here's some of the stuff I've added since last time. So I've tweaked a bit of the code, organized, added a jumping, uh, added a sniper, uh, aim down sight, you know, like you've got in certain other games. Uh, tweaked the crosshair for more realism. So, for example, now when you shoot, it gets bigger. Um, when you run, it expands as well. When you crouch, it gets a bit smaller. Um, so I removed bullet graphics as uh, I found out that each bullet was 15,000 polygons. I don't know, I missed that out. Um, I added some blood effects. This is um, one of my favorite things that I added. Uh, I, I took some of the code from uh, Dark Dungeon uh, FPS. Uh, you know, the one that comes with um, Dark GDK. It's pretty good. Uh, I cleaned up some of the code and put some 2D arrays into structs. So I'll show you s a little bit here. So as you can see a struct here. I, I, I saw someone writing this so I copied how he did it and I can I kind of understand how structs work and they're quite useful. Um, what else did I do? I added so I added some weapon replace text um, so detailed gun names on pickups so for example it'll say uh, press this to pick up an AK-47 instead of press this to pick up a gun which is what it was before. Um, I replaced the previous low poly assault rifle with an AK um, gun gravity code, so for example when you're picking up a weapon so if you've got two weapons you go pick up a third one you're going to have to replace one of your own so the weapon's going to fall so it's, I need to improve this though because um, it doesn't look too realistic so it falls but sometimes it falls at a bad angle where it wouldn't in real life um, I'm a pickup code, reload code, reload animations so this is like um, from uh, from my first person shooter tutorial uh, the ammo pickup and the reload code um, the real load animations I've done, um, I've got them for two weapons, they work good, but I need to um, mess around with the animations, have shotgun, and for the sniper as well. Um, so I added timer based code at one point because I wanted to mess around and try and get some slow motion going and slow down time and increase it as I wanted to. That was really bad, I had to go back to an old version because I really screwed that up. So I don't know if I'll go back to trying it again at another time, but maybe I will. Um, so swap the old map for uh, a terrain, uh, as you'll see. But this is only for a little, little while until I can get access to the internet. As you can see, I haven't got access to it at the moment, as I'm at a friend's house and I need to get a new place. But uh, when I do and I get internet, I'll be, you know, obviously putting a lot more work into it. Um, I expanded the crosshairs limit, so. Um, in terms of uh, play was, as some people told me before, play was limited when looking up and looking down. He kind of was limited, and I did that so the character wouldn't go out of the screen. But that is not a good idea. So I changed it and I increased the limits, and now you can look higher and look lower. Now these are th some things I want to uh, do. Uh, so if you want to pause this and read it, that's up to you. As I can't go over all of it. Um, so as you can see I just undo this so this is some of the code um, as you can see up here I think my li latest line count is 3500 but that was quite a few days ago um, so I can't wait too long on this otherwise you guys are screwed and this is going to be a long video but basically I've added quite a few new things um, a lot of it um, were tweaks but I still need to, to fix a lot of things in here, so I'm going to show you the game now. Okay guys, so here's the game. Um, at first you get a few low frames per second. Um, I'm blaming fraps for it, uh, as it never drops below 60 when I'm 
uh, mess around with it and testing and doing all that. So I'll show you the map first thing from above. You've probably seen this before on um, Dark GDK sample list. Uh, it's an alright map, but I am gonna obviously replace it as I don't think it's very um, shooter type map, you know. So um, here's the sky sphere. It's quite a good sky sphere HD. Uh, I've never seen one like that before, and I found it on uh, Game Creators. Some guy posted it, or whatever. So as you can see here, first thing is jumping. I added this a while back. I'll probably add some noise for for him to make when jumps. Uh, enemies are exactly the same. I haven't changed anything from last time. Um, I'll be adding some improvements soon to them, though. Um, that text up there, I found an option on a tool, should I say, on Milkshape that lets you do um, 3D text objects. So you just type in, it makes the object for you. Um, and I had that this font stored. It's called Beast Wars, and uh, I used it for it. As you can see, that aims down sight. As you can see there, can get a bit closer, and whatever. So as you saw, it, probably saw it there. A bit of blood. I added that to it. I thought it'd be quite cool. And I took this blood code off Dark Dungeon. I'll show you here the little reload code. Yeah, and it was pretty good because um, I really like how it looks. So I'm just gonna hit this guy with it. You see? Not come after me because he can't move. As the guy below him is um, blocking him. So as you saw there, he's dropped a bit of ammo and. Um, it's not going down because this guy's blocking it from. As you can see, there's some ammo there. Uh, ammo pickup code is the exact same one as my uh, tutorial. So you can see, pick that ammo there, reload. And um, there's quite a few cool things. There's um, crouch, I can crouch, as you can see. It's moving there. Can aims down sight whilst crouching. And as you can see, the crosshair expands. So if I run, I don't know if I had this on the last one, but if I run, it gets bigger, and you've got standing still. As you can see, that it gets. I haven't made it get um, smaller when you for when you crouch, but I'll do that um, probably later on today. Uh, as you can see here, there's an AK. Pick up the AK. So look at that. You got aims down sight. So you can crouch as well, obviously. Um, as you can see, look at that. I don't know if that's going to work. There you go. And this weapon replaces my previous assault rifle. And a few more frames. Yeah, it replaced my previous assault rifle, which was, um, it was alright. It wasn't bad, but it was really low poly. Um, getting low frames for the lose. I hate this. Uh, shouldn't have chosen a, such a high poly map, but there you go. So here's the sniper rifle. I added it since last time. I'll probably um, I had to remove the previous bullet objects because it was 15,000 polys, like I mentioned. Uh, that was a really big mistake. I don't know where I downloaded that from, but it's ridiculous. So here we go. Um, you got the sniper. So I'll just put one in this guy here. Let's see if it hits. Yeah, so uh, I also added uh, lifetime for the bullets, so the sniper rifle obviously has the longest lifetime because it's, you know, one of those bad boy rounds. So I just killed him. And uh, obviously, the sniper rifle does a lot of damage as it's, you know, what it is. Everyone likes to snipe. Him. Just hit him, hit him once more. As you can see, crouch. And that that you just saw, there's a little bug that I gotta fix at some point. Um, just pick that up, replace that crap. I've got a few bugs here and there, as you probably can see, but um, overall it works pretty well. Um, what else is that? I've shown you the jump code, blood, um, zooming in, crouching. You can actually jump crouch, I just noticed, noticed that, didn't know. So yeah, as I'm drawing 150-ish polygons, it it is quite demanding. Um, I was using the laptop before I came back, and uh, I was dropping on over 140,000 polys. I was dropping to around 30 to 60 frames. So if you got a low-end um, PC, mine's not like that good, but it is, it's alright. Um, so if you got a really old PC, then... Um, Odds are you're gonna get some frame drops when you go above 140. Um, what else is there? I think that's it pretty much. The uh, RPG is pretty much the same. I've got to do some changes to it. 
these Saras, I was thinking of getting rid of him because he's really high poly and um, it's a whole lot of changes I need to make to him and I don't know if I can be bothered to do that. Um, I think this is pretty much it. Uh, there's not been that many changes, I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm back and that um, hopefully I'll be posting new videos soon, at least uh, within next week or so. Uh, I'll have to get access to the internet to upload this one, so I don't know when exactly I'll have it up. Also, um, through the, throughout the next month, I don't know if I'll be uploading any new um, updates on this, because um, I want to do a tutorial or two. Uh, I was thinking of a 2D game, Super Mario style. Um, for those of you that probably didn't get on too well during the 3D um, tutorial, um, although most people that I know did that, um, were quite happy about it, so I'm glad that helped a few people out. Um, so I'll probably do the tutorial, and I like taking a few breaks now and then, it's just focusing on this can get boring after a while. I am alright doing it right now, but I know I'll get bored of it in a few weeks. Um, so this is pretty much it. I've got a few additions I want to make to it. Um, if you pause at the start, you probably you can probably read most of them. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, I should have a new video. And when I move into a new place, I'll probably have internet, and I'll upload more frequently. So, anyways, thanks for seeing this, guys. Um, see you later.